Okay, it's time to do a compression test. Work out why these things go wrong. See how this goes, fingers crossed. So welcome back to the channel and um, thanks for watching. Um, if you've been here before, thank you very much. If you haven't been here before and you enjoy what you're watching, please do consider hitting that like and subscribe button. That'd help me out immensely. Um, so as I said, I've got to do a compression test and try and work out why I am getting all sorts of misfires. So I've um, got to pull the plugs and um, pull the fuse for the uh, fuel pump. And then we'll plug in the compression test thingy, turn it over eight times, however many times it works, and um, see what's going on. Fingers crossed. Okay, so apart from my math that blew out, so we've got, on this end we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here are the plugs. So if I look at plug one, if I look at plug one, where our plug one is, focus, I don't even need to know if that's been firing, looks clean as, slight signs I guess. If I look at plug T, apart from there being a tiny bit of oil on it, again it looks pretty clean. Plug 3 looks pretty dirty, which to me, well, if it focuses, focus. Plug 3 looks something's failing so I don't know if it's the injectors that are leaking by four I mean these are brand new plugs five <laughs> six looks like it's absolutely brand new So I suspect that that has not even fired at all because that looks new as the day that it came out of the box. New as the day? That looks good as the day. Seven. Again, looks pretty filthy. And eight. Looks a bit filthy. So I'm going to do a bit of research. I suspect you can see it. So one at this end, two, three, you can see the different colours. So um six looks pretty much brand new. One and two look clean, so three, four look dirty, eight looks dirty, five and seven look like maybe I'd expect, maybe, but certainly certainly three and four don't look very clever. Um but Number six looks like it is not firing at all, so I don't know. Anyway, I am going to run a compression test and um, see what that comes back with. So the one, are you recording this time, you stupid piece? So cylinder one has got, call that 180. This is two. So 
So two has got 190. Okay, so this is number six. So I've got less than zero on cylinder six. That's not good, is it? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the plug from six. And that explains a lot, doesn't it? Uh, all right so that blows a little bit so this is psi so cylinder one we get 180 cylinder two we get 190 cylinder three we get 180 cylinder four we get 182 cylinder five we get 190 cylinder six big fat zero cylinder seven 193 cylinder eight 184 so heads cylinder six had compression <clears throat> i'll be looking somewhere else but this is screaming, absolutely screaming that there's a problem. And when you look at the plugs, this is, this is plug number six. And it looks absolutely pristine because there's no compression. So there's no means for it to fire or foul or anything. So unfortunately, well, it doesn't even move the needle um, and when I crank it it just goes round and round and round I'm gonna crank it again and you can watch and listen this is what zero compression sounds like and looks like hold on so I put the, put the gauge in view this is what zero compression looks like Absolutely nothing. Well, I guess I guess I know where my problem is now. So I need to look at cylinder number six. Um, that's quite disappointing, actually. Um, I'm sure there'll be people watching this saying you've got to leave the plugs in. It doesn't really make any difference. Um, if you leave the plugs in, it would have behaved like it was trying to turn normally, but then you wouldn't be able to tell when there's absolutely zero compression. Um, when you have the plugs out and you do a compression test. You can hear it still trying to build that compression on the individual cylinder so um, you can do it both ways i prefer to do it with all plugs out because then you can absolutely tell without any shadow of a doubt that you've got zero compression because the engine just spins freely so i'm gonna find my little bore scope thing and um, it hasn't got a side camera unfortunately so i'm not gonna be able to see the valves but i'll be able to look into the cylinder and have a look at the state of the piston could be the rings i mean it's possibly well I hope there's not a hole in the piston um, but there's zero compression we'll see won't we oh dear all right let's go and get the ball scope let's have a look down number two where the problems are and there's the crown of the piston that's about as far as I can get. It's not really telling me anything, is it? So that's interesting. 
So this is the one that's caused me the problems and I think I need like a side view one. Okay, right, let's try this again, shall we? dirty grey hole in the piston so that's encouraging but what I do need is I need a side cam well, I can see a damn thing with the old endoscope so I've got this new one let me show you so I've got this new one and it's got two cameras so you press a button this which is from side view to front view so front view side view how cool is that so let's um chuck this in and see what we can find I'll tell you what, I almost don't want to do this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. Right, so, oh that's better. So that's cool, I mean it's still, uh, I guess that's the top of the piston. That looks... Okay, it looks like there's no obvious missing. You can even see the bloody QR code on the piston. I can't see anything that would indicate that there's... Oh, is that it? There's a hole, isn't there? That is a hole in the piston. Damn it. So when you look on the other side, you can see it's nice and round. Bloody hell. Oh, I hope that means the ball's not scored. Uh. All right, let's have a look at that. Well, that's worst case scenario, isn't it? So if you look on the left of the picture there, that's gonna be my problem. All right, so that means, bollocks, means I'm gonna take everything off. I don't know what to say to that. Oh well. Well, at least we know what we're dealing with now, so um, <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot longer series than I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Right, so all of this has to come out. All of it has to come out. Every single bloody thing. So I've got to do a complete teardown. Well, I guess we know now why I went to um, auction and um, I feel like I've been a little bit pissed off. I mean, it's obviously been covered up and thrown through the auction without declaring there was a hole in the piston, buyer beware. Um, and I wasn't able to see the car when I was bidding because of COVID, so it was kind of bought blind and uh, without taking like a boroscope or anything like that, um, you wouldn't have been able to see that stuff anyway. Um, but that's my bad. So. It is what it is, isn't it? So, um, never mind. Let's um, start clearing some space in this hellhole of a garage that I have. And um, let's start taking stuff out, I guess. And um, lots of bagging and tagging. I have to drain the fluids all over again. And um, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to order some new um, internals, which is a bit deflating. But at least we know what we're dealing with. Um, uh, oh, debating whether I can actually do this in the car or not. I don't know. I'm going to do some research. I think the engine's got to come out. I think I'm going to have to. There's 
I want to see what I can do. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to see me um, tear this engine down and replace this piston and um, probably shed a few tears along the way, um, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and um, hit the bell so you get a notification when the next one comes out. Um, thank you very much for watching. I don't know why I'm smiling. I've got so much work on my hands now and um, it's all done on the driveway. You know, if I had a lift, this would be so much easier. This is going to be painful, um, but I want to do it myself. So um, I'm going to show you that you can do it. Thank you very much and um, stay safe guys. We'll see you on the driveway next time. If you want to get the scoop on um, progress on this, don't forget to subscribe to me on um, Instagram and on Facebook. Links are at the end. Uh, I'll stick them in the description as well. And um, here we go. Time to roll the sleeves up and get really dirty. Um, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Uh, we will fix this.